Hey everyone, Kevin Newsom from H-Town, wishing you well on this late winter day. Here today to talk about a very concerning situation in the Middle East. This comes from a story that broke on HalTurnerRadioShow.com late on Friday night. And the gist of the story is this. For the past several years, the United States, Turkey, and Israel have been stealing or siphoning oil away from Syria in that the United States' illegal occupation of portions of Syria, in which they have recently been joined by Turkey and Israel, has resulted in the siphoning of between $30 million and $100 million worth of oil from Syria each and every month. Now, this oil that has been pilfered, allegedly, is being stored at a large oil storage facility within Syria's boundaries. And this oil has been carted off by tanker trucks for the past several years. Now, here's where things get very interesting. On or around March 5th, Someone bombed the oil tank facilities and the oil storage facilities in Syria. It's been speculated that Russia and or Syria finally had enough of Syria's oil being stolen and bombed the storage and trucking facilities inside the nation of Syria. The story that's being told on Hal Turner's website, which I'll put a link to in the description box, is that this stolen oil was a major source of revenue for the three aforementioned countries and perhaps several other special interests, individuals, international organizations, corporations, etc., etc. Because of this money-making scheme this oil theft has now been at least temporarily shut down. Hal's website and his story seem to indicate that there's going to be a response by the United States, by the European Union, possibly also by Turkey and or Israel. And this response will be geared towards Russia. Now, when and where this alleged response will occur, nobody knows. Hal speculates that it's most likely to actually occur in the eastern portion of Ukraine. And more specifically, that there would be some sort of uptick in military activity against the two independent republics, the Donetsk People's Republic and the Luhansk People's Republic, that carved themselves and seceded from Ukraine. Now, these two republics are backed by Russia. So the theory goes that if you're looking for retaliation for this attack on the plundering oil facilities in Syria, that the U.S. and the European Union, perhaps even Turkey and Israel, would begin focusing their efforts on ramping up the violence and chaos in eastern Ukraine and the two people's republics in that area of the world. Now, unfortunately, the people of the United States and the European Union are being kept in the dark about all this. What else is new? But all of this goes to show just how senseless these imperialistic foreign policy adventures are and how little they benefit the American people. If you can show me where the American people have gotten that money from the stolen oil from Syria maybe I'd give it a listen. If you can show me how we've had imperial triumphs, parades marching through D.C. and other capitals in America, a la Rome, okay, maybe i listen. If you can show me that this stolen oil has paid for new infrastructure in the U.S., new highways, new electric grids, new water systems, new airports, yes, maybe I could hear you out. But we all know that these wars and these thefts don't do anything for the average American citizen. 
They do nothing at all for us. They benefit corporations, they benefit individuals, and they benefit clandestine organizations, but not the people. So I will put a link in this video to the story. Read for yourself. Do your own research. Let me know what you think. This could, of course, just be a big nothing burger. Maybe there's a non-story. It could equally be the start of something much bigger and much worse. So at the very least, something to pay attention to and to do a little research about. This is Kevin in Houston wishing you well this late winter day, saying God bless each and every one of you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.